<laughs> That's about as American as it gets, bro. It's American. Let's do it. <clears throat> Welcome to the Hunt for Greatness podcast. My name's Alex Hunt. This is Timothy Walters. And we're about to eat ghost peppers. Cheers. I'm scared. Oh, God. Oh God. Oh God. <clears throat> oh God. Uh. <sighs> you already hiccuping? Why? Why do we do that? I lose. Uh, Why? Uh, oh. Uh, oh, why? Uh, should that be flashing red? Uh, 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 nothing's helping. Nothing to help him. Uh, Nothing to help him. I got a spit. Uh, Nothing to help him. No, 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 no. Nothing's helping. Don't rub your eyes. Nothing's helping. <laughs> Don't vape. This is terrible. Oh man, drink some water. Seriously, drink some water. I just want you to know. I won. This is terrible. <sighs> Look at me. Look at me. All <sighs> oh, again. Ah! Why is it doing a countdown? <sighs> Why? <sighs> Why? <sighs> Reapers were worse. <sighs> Reapers were way worse. <sighs> Not doing good. 
I'm not doing good. I'm doing poorly. Here, you can kill my milk. My stomach hurts. I want my chocolate, though. My stomach hurts. For real? Uh, I'm crying. Uh, That's not good. I feel like water's better. I'm struggling bad. Uh, why didn't we get ice cream? Uh, I'm not doing well. I can feel it in my innards. I'm not doing well. I need a tissue. I'm struggling. I feel like I'm going to puke. I left the door unlocked. Oh. Oh. That's not good. I think I know why they call it ghost pepper because you think it's gone and then it comes back. Creepers were worse. Creepers were way fucking worse. Oh. <clears throat> Look at that. That little goddamn red pepper. My stomach hurts. I feel like I'm going to... Uh, can you give me a paper towel? Yeah. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm about to cry, like actually cry. I can't believe I ate chili before I came. Uh. 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 My stomach uh. hurts. Uh. Why do we record this? That is lying, man. All the colors look normal. My whole mouth is numb. Is that the hottest pepper you ever hit? Oh, dude. I, I, I can't feel my mouth. My teeth. My teeth are numb. For real? Ugh. <sighs> the top, you know how, you know what, you ever ate All right, I'm good, crunch? I'm good, I'm good. You ever ate Captain Crunch Ugh. and it fucks the roof of your mouth up? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's like if Captain that's Crunch was from like. hell. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's what the roof of my mouth feels like. Uh, I feel like I don't know how I haven't puked yet. Uh, oh, I thought you were gonna. Yo, check this shit out, bro. Straight from Cuba. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Uh, these are illegal in 50 uh, states. Those peppers should be illegal in the world. Uh, oh, my God. What a terrible way to start a podcast. Hmm. Should we go with the dork Jesus Christ. or the light? Dork or light? Uh, I don't, I'm not going to be able to taste anything. Yeah, you will. That was the worst start to any podcast ever. Give me them cigar cutters, bro. What do you need? Compose yourself. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can. You know how I was having to do it in Mexico? <laughs> you know how I was Bro, I feel to like I'm Mexico? about to see. Get close to that mic. I feel like I'm going to have to. Can you hear me? Yeah. 
You know how I was having to do it in Mexico? No. I was having to bite the ends off because they didn't have cigar cutters where I was. I'm really, really, uh, my tongue. Uh, I think that milk was old, too. Man. How old was that milk, bro? Because uh, my shit was, like, lumpy. Was it? <laughs> it's old, ain't it? Nah. No, no, no. We got till Sunday. That's, like, one day. <laughs> bro, that, dude, my mouth, now... My mouth feels like I chewed a piece of winter fresh gum. I, I mean, it was hot, man. It was it hot, wasn't, bro. It was hot. I don't know. Dude, tears started pouring out of my eyes, dude. I guess you bitch made. Like, I can feel it in my innards right now. You know, I took a picture can of you. Can you feel it in your innards? Versus me. So you could jerk off to it later? Because I look like a man in my picture. Well, let me see the picture of me then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know what I look like right now. Bro, you, you were tearing. Bro, tears immediately. <laughs> I look pitiful, dude. I look pitiful. <laughs> I, I look pitiful. Where's my neck? My neck don't exist. See, you try to look hard in yours. It's because Why you try to look hard? me, dog. Yeah. Mm. Why you try to look hard in yours? Because I am hard. You ain't hard. You ain't hard. <sighs> Oh my god, bro! My mouth's completely numb. All I don't right. know how many minutes we're in. Probably not long, many. I'm okay now. Yeah. It was uncomfortable for about five minutes. Yeah, I'm okay right now. I still wish I wouldn't have done it. Um. But now I can say I did it, and I don't ever have to do it again. So next that, time we gotta do a reaper. I'm not doing that. Count me out. Count me out of all pepper eating contests for. Bro, my, ch- my chair just broke, dude. <laughs> my arm just popped out of my chair, bro. Did it? Woo. Got the socket? I think it melted from my damn hot-ass breath. Oh, my God, dude. That was terrible. Isn't it crazy? That was a terrible feeling. Can we talk about this for a second? First of all. Get up on that mic. I want you to get up on it. Because I know you ain't got headphones on, so you can't really tell. First of all, try that. Cuba. 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 It was born in Cuba, went to Mexico, and now it's in Wilmington. <clears throat> it's making my mouth hot again. Really? No. Yeah. But first of all, what were you finna say? You needed. You should have wore that shirt that said "cock your inner bitch" because you really be in one right now, bro. I'm just being honest. Uh You being real? I ain't hoard. Let me turn these notifications, bro. I off. ain't hoard. Let me turn these notifications off because that's a distraction. You could almost bust the end off this sucker like with that cutter. Well, you have this weird thing. Here, give it to me. Give it to me now. Uh, give it to me now. Uh, give it's it to me now. Thing. That's how you do it. Push it up oh, in there. Oh, I did it the other way. <laughs> no, I did sir. it this way. No, sir. You do it that it's way. A v, it's a V cut. It cuts like a little P hole. A little V neck for the mushroom tail. I just think it's kind of ridiculous that these are illegal. Right? Why is that illegal? Because it's from Cuba. Is it because it's a communist? It's that fucking trade embargo. It has nothing to do with communism and everything to do with fuck, fuck the American government. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you just say? Fuck the American government. Fuck the government. The government. Fuck the government. Bro, I just watched this thing on Netflix. I just don't get it, bro. Like, why? Why are they illegal? I mean... Because they better than us at rolling cigars. Can't nobody be better than America. Thing. Here's the thing, though. They're, they're really not. they really not. I've had cigars that were made in Costa Rica in Costa Rica. They were just as good. And I've had cigars in America, and so have you. America. You, you have, too. You just didn't know it. That was the same seed as this, but it was just grown in a different p- part of the planet. My, uh, the reason why I wanted you to try this is so you would realize that it's nothing special. Well, I've smoked a cube, couple Cubans before. Oh, really? Yeah, and I like them. I like them too, but they're not special. But you can kind of taste that they're a little bit better quality than most cigars that you would buy in a store. Well, here. Be, um, because you're not willing to spend what you have to to get that quality. And the the fact of the matter is, is a Cuban, if you buy it yourself, like... If you buy it. If you... If you buy it. If you go to Mexico 
And you and buy you buy the cigar from the senior on the street. Yeah. Name Eddie. It'll be about five dollars. He me llamo es Eddie. Eddie. Me llamo es fast Eddie. Man, that's the thing. Eddie can talk him down to about two dollar. I Dos spent pesos. That there was five in that box, and I spent fifteen bucks in Cancun. And Cancun's expensive. Like yeah, it's overpriced there. So I probably could have spent like eight somewhere else. They got Cubans in the Bahamas. Where's the Bahamas at? Uh, in between Cuba and Florida, kind of. In the Caribbean. Yeah. Well, no. Technically, it's at the Atlantic. I think. Uh, I think. I'm not sure. My God. That milk didn't help that much. The milk helps for like 0.5 seconds. The of, water was better to me. I drank some of the water and then spit it out because I thought you were fucking with me. And it was going to make it worse. No. Because I, that's how much you mess with me, bro. You mess with me so much that I literally can't trust anything you say. Like when the other day when you were like, hey, Kim said feed the baby. I said, okay. And I went in there and started making the bottle. And I looked at you and I said, did Kim really say to feed the baby? I know. I can't she trust didn't. you, bro. I got backwash in my water because I can't trust you. She didn't tell me. <laughs> she didn't tell you to feed the baby? Mm -mm. I just figured it was probably Tom. <laughs> you go to Mexico. Yeah, how, let's talk about your trip to Mexico. How crazy was it? Dude. You had a tornado or a hurricane hit while you were there. Bro, well, we landed on a Friday and woke up on Saturday morning, and we could see the ocean from where we were, and there was a pier out there, and the, half the pier was gone. Damn. And it was a tropical storm going on. Didn't know. Didn't know. Had no clue. Didn't know what was going on. Didn't know. Had no clue. So that was weird. And then we left Cancun and went to uh, an hour south to Del Carmen. And we were there for a few days. And it was sketch because the tropical storm knocked power out. And apparently there wasn't a big rush to, to hook it back up in parts of the city. And so you're walking down these streets that normally would probably be lit, but they're pitch black. And it's just sketch. It just feels it's sketch. already sketchy probably in the first place. Kind of. And then what made it worse is there was this place, it's called Fifth Avenue, and they were doing construction on it. So there was no pavement. It was all clay. And you're walking. You're on foot. It's all clay. Slick. Slick. Slicker Neil shit. It's wet. And... <clears throat> Every every ten feet, someone's asking you if you want to buy weed or coke. Every ten feet, dude. I'm, not, I'm not even cocaína. Bota. Hey, hey, amigo, and marijuana. And I'd say no. And they go coke, coke. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Is that what they're calling it? Yeah, bro. And I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Fentanyl. You can't even walk down the street like duster? without being asked. Would you like to have some duster essay? Do you? Do you want to do you, <laughs> you want to buy some duster? Keyboard duster. I have LSD, amigo. <laughs> but it was just coke and uh, coke and weed and tequila. That's all you need, really. That's all you need. Coke, weed, and tequila. You can make it through life. So we finally we found this really nice restaurant, right? Right above the strip. It was on the second floor. There's a mariachi band in there. It was really cool. And then down beside us sits this couple from New York. And they're hammered drunk. Hammered drunk, bro. The dude asked me where I was from probably eight times. Like, that's how drunk he was. And then here's the, here's the crazy part, right? His old lady goes to the bathroom, and he goes, so me and my girlfriend just absolutely love you two. And we were wondering if you wanted to come back to our hotel. Uh, and I was like, n no. And get murdered? No. I mean, I, I was like, yeah, if I can fuck you. To the guy. Yeah, to him. And he was like, he was like, bet. And I was like, damn, I can't. Dick got hard. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Boom. He said, bet, your shit pump. Boom. Wham, bam. And then what? And I said, well, I'm going to give it to you, bud. And, and I ain't he, even waiting to the and, hotel. And then I ain't eyes, even waiting to the and hotel. And then he said, come on, let's And then he said, wait, where are you from again? 
For the tenth time. For the seventeenth time. And then you you went. What's limp. weird though, bro, was you they just limp when he asked yeah, you it, again. I mean, it wasn't horrid. So I was like, Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. And then what he say? Yeah. They peaced out yeah. after after we <laughs> shut them down. <laughs> Dude, after you told the dude you no, wouldn't fuck him. After we said no, they just got up and walked away. Like there was food on their table and everything. They just disappeared. Never came back. You think they were targeting y'all to like get you for a robbery or a murder? Some crazy shit. I mean, they're shit. From, they were they were from That's what New they York. Said. I mean, he had a New York accent, bro. So can I, bro. That's not New that York. That was good. That was really fucking good. I don't know. That's like a cross between Boston and New York. You never know. No. So, we're walking back, and we met this dude on the strip. He was selling jewelry. He was really cool. He spoke perfect English. And he was like, hey, amigo, come here. I don't want to scare you or anything, but I just you need to see this. And he shows me that there's this hurricane in the Gulf called Delta that's headed straight for us. And I'm like, dang, bro. So we go back, we go back to our Airbnb, you know what I'm saying? Do what married couples do, you know what I'm saying? Get down, you know. What go I mean? to sleep. <laughs> That's what I meant. Go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I'm a Christian. Yeah. So <clears throat> I w- I wake up in the next morning to Mary Alice going, uh, baby, will you get up and get a cup of coffee and Take a look at the radar. And right when she said that, I knew it wasn't going to be good, bro. She um, already had looked at it. She had already looked at it. She had already looked she at it. She had already looked at it. Did she, she had look, already peeped it. You did know she know look saying? at it already? She looked horrid. Yeah. She looked at it. So I open it up, and now it's a Category 4 direct hit. And we can see the ocean from where we are. And we're on the ground floor of someone's oh, house. Oh, no. Like, like this. Like concrete slab oh, style. Oh no! So I was like, "We got to go. We got to fucking go." You know what a Cat Four direct hit looks like? Yeah, not good. Horrible. And we're in fucking Mexico. Shit's horrid. We're in Mexico, where they don't really give a too much of a fuck about the people. So I was, I went out to do something. I can't remember. I was by myself. And there was na- there was already the army, national guard. Everybody was already like, oh, and it's Jesus crazy, dude. Christ. They're in F one fifties, and they're like eight deep in the bed. Every one of them's got an, an M four assault rifle. Every one of them. It's not like our national guard. These dudes looked like they were ready to fuck shit up. Yeah, I was like what the fuck, bro? We got to go. So were they just like evacuating people? So they evacuated Cancun. They did, and. But we struck out while the getting was good. We left at like 10 in the morning. And we just went south. And we kept going south until we found this little town called Bacalar. And it was on this lake that had the most more the most beautiful water I've ever seen in my life. Ever. I wonder why, that, why they got prettier water there. Because you know they say don't drink the water in Mexico. You know what I mean? Because there's these things in the water. Is, I can't remember the name they had for them. But... I'm bogarting that. But uh that cleans the water. Aquifers? No, it's Oysters. something else. No, it's something else. Oyster salt water. Filters. Out, my dude. It filters the water. Oh, it's fresh water. It's fresh water. And like <clears throat> there's this part in the in the in the in the lake that gets real narrow and there's a shit ton of them right there, and the water has to go through it. And it cleans it. Is it something natural or is this yeah, like something man made? It's natty. It's all natty. That shit all natty? It's all natty. It ain't man-made? And it's up to 300 feet deep. Can you see the bottom from there? Hell no. (laughs) You can see 30 feet down, though. That's crazy. Because I was swimming, and we had snorkels. Hey, they hand-rolled that. You see it running? Yeah. Remember how your blunts used to run? Man, no. They didn't. (laughs) I don't know. Honestly, no. They didn't Man, run. nah, nah, nah. Sorry, bro. <laughs> you get kicked out the circle, you are gonna roll a blunt like that? Where I'm from? I mean, straight up. I mean, it won't never me that rolled the blunt that ran, but I would always be hitting it. Yeah, because I hit it hard. I had higher standards. Hard. My friends didn't do that. 
you're going to break up the weed, you're going to do a good job for one. For two, I think I'm it's about it. how you roll it. Uh, it's both. Yeah, because if you don't break up the weed, then it will. Clump up. If you got a clump in there, it'll burn slower. And then it causes runs. Yeah. Yeah. And I, could not, I couldn't stand. See how that running, bro? Yep. But, you know, fix them. Fifth it? I couldn't stand that. Like, don't, fifth it? Don't spit on my shit, bro. Yeah, that's why I didn't spit on your cigar, because I thought that'd cigar. be kind of weird, because you're going to smoke my spit. Mm-hmm. You're going to vaporize my spit, and it's going to go into your Remember lungs. Remember shotguns? Yeah, dude, used to fucking blister you. They didn't blister you? I just I just think it's weird. Like, thinking back on what we used to do to get high, it's just kind of crazy. It's weird. Yeah. I Shotgun mean, is weird. It is. Like, you're, you're basically kissing your homeboy. It, I always got, like... It was weird. I always... My butthole always puckered up. Yeah. And, like, my... You know how when a turtle's head goes back inside of its shell? That's what my wiener did when I got a shotgun from a dude. You know what I'm saying? Which wasn't really hard because it was already pretty close to that. Anyways, normal. Yeah, but it went a little more. You know what I'm more. saying? It went a little more. They sell them duck at Walmart. That's where you get I them. I stuck the tip in the bag of Doritos and she licked the dust off. Dude, that song. What's the song called? I got depression. It's called I got Jesus depression. is the one parentheses. I got depression. The greatest song ever. Anybody ever. listening to this podcast, you need to look up Jesus is the one parentheses. I got depression. And, 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 and if you get offended easily, definitely look it up. Yes, yeah, it's, it's super clean. It's super unoffensive. It's super clean. God, that is hilarious. That thing is funny, bro. Bro. I want that guy to come on the podcast and pull his sack out. Huh? Did I say that? Yeah. I want a picture of that guy's sack in here, dude, painted. Somebody you know paint me like a picture painted? of that guy's sack. You know what I like No, painted? what? Mm-hmm. Well, what's that? Mm-hmm. What that is? Cattle. 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 You look like you ride a, a piece of cattle. Specifically a cattle. Just one. Just one. Just a I cattle. I can do that. Just I, I don't can, know if you can. I, can I don't do, know. I think I you can, bit off more than you could chew. I can do that. I'm pretty sure you bit off more than you could chew. Oh, man, dude. I'm so glad that pepper's over. Bro, don't act. Dude, 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 dude. It really was. Dude. (laughs) Dude, it was so bad. That was so bad. I was in I've never been through anything that bad in my life, bro. That was it. 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 The Reaper was worse. I felt like the Reaper was coming when I was And burnt. I did that shit at fucking work. Yeah, you're an idiot. Well, you know, gotta get it how you live. <laughs> I don't think that's the right thing to say there. <laughs> I don't think that applies here. Gotta get it how you live, eat peppers at work. That pepper fucked my brain up, dude. I, I literally couldn't say anything, but I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. <laughs> I'm not doing I'm good. not doing well. I'm not doing well. My good. tummy hurts. My tummy hurts. Dude, Dude that I'm, shit was fucking hilarious, bro. I was low key I meant worried every about word. you for a second. I meant every word. I was like, damn, am I gonna have to take this dude to the high? I was high key worried about myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess that's bro, why I haven't ate a lot. me that bad because I, I had to worry about you, you know what I'm saying? I had to be on my A game for you. You was like my uh ghost pepper babysitter. I was. That's what it was. Bro, I did it, bro. And you know what? Like, I bit it and realized that I didn't bite enough of it, so I did it again. You see how much of mine I bit on the first? I didn't want to ever go back in. Yeah. I knew if I, I had to go in good the first time, because I won't going back. You know what I'm saying? That was tough. I mean, it was uncomfortable. That was a, that was a, dude, that was, dude, if, it, dude, dude, dude. If tears pour out of my eyeballs, like, dude, almost immediately. That's what I want to look back at on the video. I want to look back at how fast the tears poured out of my eyeballs. That was crazy because it didn't hit me as fast as yours. It just didn't. Well, I bit off the whole pepper at once. Well, I mean, You know what I'm saying? Essentially, I did too. I bit like three-fourths of it. When I run it back, when, hey, when I run it back, (laughs) when I run it back, I'm going to watch you. Watch me. I'm going to watch you. Watch me. You're going to see me composed. Straight up, dude. When you went outside to spit, I thought you were going to blow chunks. No, I thought I you were going to Ralph. Like the the milk just mucused up in my mouth. And I was like, I got to get rid of that. I want to spit it out. 
And you don't have a spittoon, so I had to go Yeah, out. dude. My great-grandma had a spittoon. Did she? Swear to Christ. So why don't you have one? Bing! Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you she have used one? to chew snuff. I guess you don't really chew snuff. It's supposed to snort it. Snort it? Well, why do you think it's called snuff? That's what I always wondered. Snuff it. Do you really sniff it? What do you think? Okay, you've seen Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. Okay, Brad Pitt, he's always doing the... That's yeah. snuff. No. That's not coke. That's no. Snuff. Is it? Yeah, snuff. No. Dude, yeah. Duh. My uncle, my uncle used to get me a can of snuff every year for Christmas. Right? Snuff. Like the good, like good shit. Did you sniff it? Hell yeah. You you swear to God you're not fucking with me. I swear to God. You sniff the snuff. It's it's amazing too. If you get the good if you get good snuff and it's not some of it's really harsh and it stinks. Harsh. But if you get <laughs> if you get good shit, it's really smooth. Why are you fucking with me, bro? Because you said no, why are you fucking with me about the snuff? I'm not fucking Do with Do you me. really sniff it? Yes. Are you kidding me? No. Can we see a video of somebody sniffing some snuff? Oh, god damn. Sniff dude. that snuff. You've sniff never... that snuff. Sniff that snuff. Sounds yes, like a 3 6 Mafia song, don't it? Come on, come in with some. Th- you sniff that snuff. <clears throat> sniff that snuff. People dip it, but I, I don't. Now I want to sniff some of it. How to. Sniff snuff. Sniff. Sniff snuff. Sniff snuff. A. Hey, sniff snuff. A. Hey, sniff snuff. A. 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 Got us. No, on YouTube, they're going to take shit like this off. Got to sniff that. No, no, no. You ain't got to put it up to the mic. I Nasal just wanna... snuff technique for beginners. How to make. How to take snuff. Yeah, you oh, know. I've got my Bluetooth on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me turn it off. You got headphones on over there? Yeah, my truck ain't got a radio. I ain't got no speakers. Whore body. Whore body Nisa. Whore body Nisa. No, I just want to see this dude sniff it. Shut the fuck up and sniff it. Is it tobacco? Yeah, it's tobacco. And you're it's sniffing super it. super fine, though. It's and like you're a sniffing dust. it. It's like a dust. How could that be any... That got, that got to be bad for you, bro. Ain't no worse than How that good? It. Ain't no worse than chewing it, smoking it. It's got to be worse. No. Nah. It bypass everything. You might get a deviated <laughs> septum. <laughs> he said it bypass everything. Just put it in your butt. It bypass everything. <laughs> Go straight into your anal glands. I had this cherry vanilla one time that was off the fucking chair. So do you get a rush from it? Yeah. Like a nicotine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Are you just fucking... How have I not... Dude, I'm 30 years old and I didn't know this. Dude, I've known, I've known about snuff since I was like six. I thought you ate it. I had, My first snuff was eight and a half. Are you fucking with me, dude? Mm-hmm. Eight and a half? Eight and a half. You snuffing snuff. Going, I was sniffing. eight and a half going on 30. Sniffing snuff. Snuffing sniff. Out here snuffing sniffing snuff. Yep. Yep. Sniffing snuff. Called snuff. it snuffleupagus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I did not know you sniff stuff. Snuff. I didn't know you sniff snuff. For some reason people dip it. I don't know why. I was wondering why it was called snuff my whole life. Well now you know. Maybe she sniffed it. Maybe my great grandma sniffed it and spit like you know how when you sniff something you, you catch a drain? Yep. Get that drip drip. Yep, that sniff drip snuff drop. drip. Sniff yeah. snuff drip drip. Sniff snuff drip 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 drip. Uh, sniff uh, snuff. Uh, uh, sniff uh. snuff. Drill. On that drill, drill, snuff, drill, drill, sniff snuff, snuff, drip, 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 drip. Catch that drain, catch that drain. Sniff snuff, great grandma, spit to him. Sniff Aww. snuff. That was fantastic. It was pretty good. That's crazy. How many times you sniffed a snuff, bro? I mean, I I did it a lot in my early 20s. Where can we get a can of this? I, honestly, I don't know because I went to the cigar shop and asked the dude there and he said he didn't carry it. Amazon. Probably. No, you can't order tobacco products, can you? I have no clue. I try to look up cigars. You can't order this. Yeah, I don't think they sell shit like that. Because it's got nicotine. We should do snuff on here next time. Yeah. That's next fun. time that's we... Nice. So that's what Brad Pitt's sniffing in Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, How do you know that? Because it was too early for powdered cocaine. No, was it? Yeah. Back didn't then. didn't have powdered cocaine? Back then it was liquid. And you could just go to the goddamn old because Hitler was on coke, shit. right? He was on methamphetamines. Oh, he was okay. on speed. But back then, bro, you could get fucking cocaine and your damn Coca Cola. 
They wouldn't. They won't go sniff that shit. They could just go to fucking the damn Revco down the street and get it in like a cough medicine or whatever. Heroin too. That's crazy, isn't it? Laudanum. You seen? You seen uh, Tombstone, right? Yeah. And oh yeah, when Doc or uh, Wyatt Wyatt Earp's yeah. wife, she's drinking laudanum. She's getting all fucked up. Oh, and he keeps telling her not it. to drink it because it's got opium in it. What was uh, what was old uh, Doc Holliday's problem in that movie? He had old tuberculosis. Old oh, tuberculosis, and he moved out out Ain't west because it was drier, and he thought it'd be better for his lungs. That's why he moved out there. Damn, how you know that? He knows he's not because I researched it. I love that movie. So I was it's like, a true I wonder story, how, right? Yeah, I wonder how. I wanted to see how, how true is it. How accurate is it? I mean, what's the accuracy? Like? I mean, Val Kilmer's a snack, right? Snack. The, the real Doc Holliday was not. I would not bite into that. But Val Kilmer's a straight up snack. I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your Huckleberry. That's a great movie. Such a good movie. Great fucking. Did movie. you know that? Like r- literally at the same time, same year. Kevin Costner did Wyatt Earp, or Earp. I can't remember the exact name of it. But they came out, like, literally at the same time, and fucking Tombstone blew him out of the water. Really? Yeah, it's not as good. And Kevin Costner's a good actor. I like him. But, what... What's his name? I'm I'm drawing a total blank. Val Kilmer? Nope. Uh, You talking about dude with a mustache? Sam Elliott? Kurt Russell? Kurt Russell, Kurt Sam Russell. Elliott, Val Kilmer. Did you know that Sam Elliott um, endorsed Joe Biden? Did he? I thought he was a gun-slinging, gun-toting, red-blooded American. No, you think that because the right has used his likeness in their memes. Well, I for think so that because he's in long. Dodge commercials. Well, but but for so long, you've associated him with those memes. And, you and he looks like it. a Texan. He's from California. But he looks like a Texan, and you assume a Texan... Yeah, but you talking about memes like on the internet? Yeah, I don't look at those. Not I've never anymore, seen a meme with them. Yeah, you've seen them. Hatton. Yeah, yeah. Hatton. You just got Hatton. off of social media not long ago, buddy. Dude, you know how long? Okay, I got off social media pretty much like nine, ten, eleven, twelve months ago. No, nah. and you know how long that is in social media time, bro? That's like twelve years. That's like that's like twenty eight years, bro, in social media time. You're old enough to drink alcohol. Yeah, that amount of time yeah. on social yeah. media. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. good. Yeah. Slam dunk. Kobe. That's the thing. That cigar. I mean, they're good cigars, but they're not. It's not like, um, I don't know. I thought you were supposed to get high off a of Cuban. No. It's just a different seed that we can get, but it's Cuban. people, people theorize that it's the, like the atmosphere and Let the climate hook get you and back the there. soul Short. and the soul that it's grown in. Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How, what, let me ask you something. Are you making shit up on my podcast nope. again, dude? No. Nope, okay, what you need to ask me, bro? Why, in your infinite wisdom, would you not have set the cameras up here and let us sit over there? I don't know. <laughs> I like my fishing rods in the background. Yeah, but, know what I'm saying? Uh, th- bro, we just ate a we ate a ri- we ate a ghost pepper, dude. You might as well risk your hat and your neck on some treble hooks. I told you that about the time I hooked my dad's ear, right? No. Bro, so I was probably, I was older than Maddox, but probably not by much. I remember it, so I, I was older than three. I was probably four, maybe five. My granddaddy had a farm, and he had a pond on it. And he had trees along the bank and shit, and so I'd get hung up all the fucking time as a kid. You know, you get hung up. And... I got my little damn close face reel, and I go back, and I go to cast it, and nothing happens, so I jerk it. Oh, and God. I jerk it, oh, and God. I hear my dad go, stop! And I got him right here, bro, and it pierced it. It pierced it. Did have it. a barb on the hook? Oh, yeah. So it was stuck. Oh, yeah. He had to, like, I can't remember. I can't remember if he got it out himself or if my granddaddy showed up and got it out for him. But I, I, essentially, I think what he would have had to do was clip it and then pull it out. Pull it out because of the barb. Yeah. So yeah. you set the hook on his ear. Yeah, I thought it was a tree. I thought I was hung up on a tree. 
Your dad was a solid dude if you thought you were hung up on a tree. Yeah. And you was hung up on his fucking ear. Dude. And to oh his my credit, God. he didn't even get mad at me, bro. I'd have been, I, I don't know, man. Because you're just in so much I'd have instantly been angry and then realized. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He probably, that's probably what he went through. He's probably I going said, through. God a, damn it, Maddox. He was probably in a cage of emotion. I'm trapped in a glass cage of emotions. <laughs> my son has hooked my ear. Those days were so cool, man. My granddad would show up while we were fishing with a watermelon and just throw it on the ground at her feet. Damn. Open, you know what I mean? And That's just awesome. Eat watermelon and- Did they grow them probably? I can't remember. See, my great-grandparents <clears throat> grew a bunch of like cantaloupes I don't and remember. things like that. So I would have like fresh. Yeah, we fresh always have cantaloupes. Fresh cantaloupes. Delicious. You know, Are you um, like cantaloupes? I love cantaloupes. I love cantaloupes. Cantaloupes delicious. You know what else is melons? good? Melons. You like dude, melons, bro? bro? Honeydew. Not a not a huge fan, but I've never like had a real fresh one though. They're delicious. Yeah, I, I've only had like bullshit. I, from... I can't stand um, I, it's grapefruit. I'm not so a fan. Bitter, bro. Yeah, I'm not, not a fan. My granddaddy ate a half of one. It, he put it on his plate like it was a bowl and just scoop it out every morning with sweet and low on it because he had really? diabetes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, diabetes. Yeah, my granddaddy would eat a huge like okay. No matter what he had for supper, he after he was done eating supper, he would eat a... My grandma would have it like clockwork, bro. I mean, every single supper time, he would eat a bowl of oatmeal. Like a big for ass... supper? Bro, after supper. After supper? After he ate his supper, he would eat you know a... how thick that is? Bro, he would eat a... Change chairs. Bro, he'd eat a big bowl of oatmeal, and he'd put milk and sugar in it and mix I it up. you got to make it with milk. Yeah, he... Well, after it was already cooked... Oh, really like syrup. Yes, he would put milk... And and then I remember one time I was over at his house and uh he he was like, You wanna try something good? I'm like, Yeah. And he got a biscuit. And this is what poor people used to eat back in the day, I think. And uh he got a biscuit, like a leftover biscuit from the day before, and he put it on a plate and he put some butter on it and put molasses all over it. And he crump and he crunched it up with his with his uh fork. And and like mashed it up. We can move this chair. We can move this table out. So here you might you might have to move it. Yeah, just move your end out a little bit, sweetheart. This chair was. I don't know how. I will tell you this: there ain't no playing guitar on Ghost Peppers. Oh man, dude! I was waiting for you to smash a tasty little riff, dude. Get that arm of that chair in your arsehole. There you go. I couldn't handle it. That's trying to make sure you ain't fucking up my three hundred dollars worth of fishing rods behind you. Move is up it? a little bit. Is it? <laughs> you good, dude? It's three hundred dollars. That that gold and black one's two hundred dollars, and then the one Where, beside it's one? them two right behind you are four hundred dollars worth of rods. They're sick ass rods, bro. Bro, they had those exact ones for like forty five bucks at Walmart. No, not those exact. Straight ones. up. Nope. Straight up. Nope. Straight up. That's like me telling you, bro, that that somebody had that exact same guitar you have. At Walmart for fifteen bucks. But they don't sell guitars at Walmart. Yes, they do. No, they, they sell Squires, don't they? No, First Act. They sell First but Act. But they plastic. And I would say, hey, that's the same shit they sell at Walmart. But mine say Fender. Yeah, but and mine Taylor. say Pin Spin Fisher. You stenciled it. Uh uh-uh. uh No, sir. I got a pin. A, a freaking uh. Bait caster. caster. Nice, dude. I need to go fishing. Dude, they did you listen there. to all of fucking... Oh, my God. Did you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what's funny? It's ironic. They had a malfunction when they uploaded it to Spotify. The only one that had an issue uploading, and it was Alex Jones. So all these people thought that Spotify was censoring it. It's probably because it was five hours long. It was three. Oh, Alex Jones kept saying, let's go two more hours. Let's oh, I thought you meant the previous. Uh, that one was like four. That's what I'm saying. I thought yeah. you meant they had an issue with that one. No, this one. This one. Oh, they had an issue uploading? I just think it's crazy, dude, that like because Rogan's on Spotify now and he's under way more scrutiny than he was, he's having to like go on. You're not on Instagram that much, so you don't see like a couple times he's had to issue statements because of backlash on what happened on this podcast now 
I don't like that. I don't either. He said he was sorry for saying the liberals burnt down California, and that pisses me off. But didn't they? Fuck it. Who cares? He said it, and that's how it's fucking going to be. Yeah, and he had to Quit saying you're fucking sorry for shit, Rogan. That made me lose a lot of respect for him. Yeah, me too, actually. I mean, just because it's like, bro, it's your show. You say what you want to say, and you say what you think, whether it's true or not. Like, I know you want Exactly. I know you want to try to get stuff to be true. But, like, you're never going to... Like, you hear how many times they fact-check Alex Jones on that show? Yeah, dude. Which I'm glad they did. They did it, though, because they knew. And, and like, he came out after the fact and said they did even more fact-checking because Jamie couldn't fact-check it all in real time. He just Who could? Who could fact-check Alex fact -check goes Alex. on tangents. And he said it was all true. Let me find the post and read it to you, bro. Like, just Joe Rogan's response in his text. To what? To Instagram. To everybody. To all of us. Like, is he apologizing? No. no, no okay, no, well, then no. that makes me regain respect for him. No, he's not apologizing. That's, That's what I don't want him to do. I don't want him to apologize. Ever. Let's see. What did he say? Where is it at? Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Yesterday's, boy. Uh, oh, boy. What are we doing? Okay, here it is. The Alex Jones podcast. I knew people were going to criticize the content of the podcast without even listening, and I was right. That's why I fact-checked every single crazy thing he said, and all of them were verified. People have said he spread anti-COVID vaccine conspiracy theories because he said that 80% of the people who were given one of the vaccines got sick. Here's the video of Bill Gates admitting it himself. Fuck you, Bill Gates. That's what, that's what's so funny, man. He said a lot of crazy but accurate things, and that's what I've been saying about him for years. He's most certainly fucked up in the past, but this episode and the subjects he exposed highlight why I chose to have him on. But that's what's so crazy about Alex Jones. Like, you hear what he says, and you don't want to believe it, and it's true. Yeah. That's oh, I so want to believe it. I mean, I do too. I literally of, want to believe it. But part of me, part of the sane part of your brain goes there's no way that that's happening there's no way that there's rich billionaires flying to an island and having sex with children there's no way there's no way that they're doing this and blackmailing each other but it fucking happened yeah because he was talking about epstein 10 years before dude i knew about i knew about that island because of alex jones Cause I remember, like, I was watching, I was kind of getting into that rabbit hole of conspiracy shit, probably like eight, nine years ago. Yeah. Before it got big, before Twitter started censoring people and everything, because Alex Jones is off of social media. He's gone. Which is bullshit. It's bullshit because of Sandy Hook. Well, that was just uh, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, but that's like the only untrue thing he's ever said that I know of. No, but even the true shit. The gay shit, frog like, shit was true. Dude, the New York Times got censored by Twitter for posting about the Hunter Biden. Um, Smoking crack with a 14-year-old. And the laptop shit. Yeah, he the smoked New crack York with a 14-year-old. The Times. They're not fucking conservative. They're anything but. By and large, they've been left. And they still got censored by Twitter. I just don't see how you can have full-on porn and censor what people are saying. Yeah, I know. How? I know. How is Isn't that? Isn't that crazy? How can you do that? Right. How can you have full-on butt porn? And I, when I say butt porn, I mean... Shit and everything. Poop and astroglides. Just... But you gonna let... But you gonna censor people? What they say? Jack Dorsey's a fucking clown, bro. I don't think Jack Dorsey's got shit to do with it. Nobody we know the name of is behind it. I don't think. I think these people are so far up. So you just think Dorsey is Dorsey's a the fucking for scapegoat, else. dude. Yeah, that's what I think. I don't Probably. think he has shit to do with it. Or he's somebody's bitch and he's just doing what they tell him to do. Could you imagine he's got how much money? How much money you think he's worth? I don't know. Like billions? Oh, or? yeah. For sure, billions. So, did he actually come up with Twitter? I don't know if he came up with it, but I know he owns it now. 
It's his company. Zuckerberg came up with Facebook. Yeah. You know, fucking the dude that owned MySpace sold it for like hundreds of millions of dollars. Isn't Tom. Crazy. Tom. Yeah, that was him. He sold it for or hundreds was that of just millions a- of dollars. No, his real name was Tom. Was it? And it was the guy? What was so cool was, was it, it was just guy? this pixelated picture of him in a white t-shirt. Yeah, was it just the guy that yeah, was at was him? him? Yeah, and that he was sold, really him. And he sold it for how much? I think it was... I, like a lot? He sold it for like a lot. Hundreds of millions. And it's worthless now. No, the, I don't know. It's got to be worthless. Something. Yeah. Somebody paid that dude hundreds of millions of dollars and then Facebook came out and made MySpace worthless. Yeah, it's crazy too because I didn't get on Facebook for like, I don't remember the exact year it came out, but I remember the day that my buddy was like, dude, you got to get a Facebook account. I was like, why? He's like, man, fuck it. Come here. And he made one for me. Really? He made my Facebook account. The one that I still use today. Yeah. Because I was just like, man, fuck it. I don't MySpace really wasn't that different. Was it? Kind of. It was essentially <clears throat> the same thing as Facebook though. Yeah, but like your page was way more like AOL. Remember AOL? Yeah. It was made, There wasn't like AOL-ish. direct messages. I, you had to I like chat. Remember, right? Yeah, it was like chatting and But it wasn't you couldn't like direct You go on your page and your page wasn't your posts. Your page was a description of you and it had the music you like and you yeah, might, but did you, you have a song to it. You didn't have actual posts. I think did you posted you? pictures or some shit. I don't remember honestly. So it was like Instagram, kind of, but way more fucking um, draconian. But to us at the time, it was awesome. Oh, it was the latest, greatest, cutting edge. I remember when AIM came yeah, out. Yeah, dude. AOL Instant Messenger. Yeah. Because before it was AOL. And then you would see whose friend your friends were online, and you'd open up separate chats with them. I would get and on then, the sex chat rooms, <laughs> group chat. Swear to yeah. God, and you I didn't too. know none of the people, and I was felt like I was doing bad stuff. Oh yeah, because you were. I was doing bad stuff. Yeah. I was like trying to get girls to send me nudes before even they were even called nudes. Yeah, back then it was probably like they'd have to take it with a Polaroid and somehow scan it onto their computer. Yeah, and they and probably shit. knew I was like twelve because <laughs> the way I was talking. Dial up internet. What's so crazy? It's just crazy, man, how far we've come. I, I know we've talked about this on here before. It's so weird. I don't think we were ready. I don't think there's could any ever be other ready? technology that has advanced this fast. And it's kind of like at a standstill. I mean, it's kind of been at a standstill, hasn't it? Well, they keep coming out with faster shit, but yeah. I mean, I mean it's the same. Right? Basically, every phone that comes out, all they do is speed up the processing power and throw in a better camera, and that's it. Yeah, so, but I'm what I'm saying is, like, that's not that big of a jump. It's not. But, like, going from a StarTac to a damn... From the Nokia that you could throw against the wall and still use? The brick. Yes. And then to go to flip a phone, camera phone? The flip phone. The camera phone changed the, the game. The Motorola up. Razor. Yeah, dude, I had one. Me that too. was the f- camera phone, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a flip camera phone. And it was real thin. Yeah. And so it took it cool. terrible pictures. Yeah, but you couldn't tell me nothing. I could take pictures anywhere I'm at, bro. Anywhere. Don't need no I camera. I could video record it, too. It's going to look and sound like shit. But so what? Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> And now, like, the the videos, I can take videos in fucking 4K. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. And do anything I want with it, like, slow it down, reverse it, add filters, like, anything. Edit them. That's wild. Every, every little clip I post on Instagram or whatever is about, usually it's two or three takes, and I just keep the camera rolling, and then I clip it. It's simple. You just click and drag with your finger. Yeah. Boom. You're done. And I can even, with this phone, I can even put text up on the screen while Texas. it's happening. Texas. Texas. I mean, it's crazy. All my exes live in Texas. Who? That was Alan Jackson, right? George Strait. I know. <laughs> if you don't listen to Alan Jackson, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. 
You know what? I'm going to say this. I like Alex say Jackson. It. You know I like him. Say it. But all of his songs sound the same. Way down yonder in the Chattahoochee. And if you break them down from a fundamental standpoint, a lot of the lyrics are stupid. You do not come on my podcast are stupid and disrespect Alan Jackson. Oh, bro. Okay. What's the, what's the one song? What's the one song where he's talking about my four-wheel drive? In the bed of my truck. Or take it, you for a ride in the bed of my truck. I'm a southern, uh, I'm a country boy. I got a four wheel drive. Hop in the bed, and I'll, I'll take, take you for a ride. Okay, down so, city streets and country roads. I can take you where you need to go, cause I'm a country boy. All right, we're gonna read the lyrics. Let's and you're go with see it. See how rapey it is. Okay. I'm a country boy, and I'll rape your butt. Excuse me, ma'am. I saw you walking. I turned around. Say it rapey. Say it real rapey. Start over and say it uh, real. I'll say it like he does. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> I saw you walking. I turned around. I'm not a stalker. Oh, my God. Does he say yeah. that? Where are you going? Maybe I can help you. My tank is full. And I'll be obliged to take you. I'm a country boy. I got a pumped up dick. <laughs> I'll beat you over. Says, you sure look good sitting in my right seat. Buckle up. I'll take you through the five speeds. This is a girl he just picked up. It's just saw her walking to remember. And he said, I'm not a rapist. I'm not a stalker. He said in the song, I'm not going to rape you. Right. I'm not a stalker. but I'm I not a rapist, walking. but I'll rape you. Buckle up. I'll take you through the five speeds. Wind it up or I can slow it way down in the woods or right up town. Because I'm a country boy. My muffler's loud, dual thrush tubes. I crank the music. The tone gets the real music. good. Let me know when we are getting close. You can slide on out or we can head on down the road. I mean, it's just kind of... All right, now I want you to look this up. It's kind of... Look up Sugar Free, S-U-G-A, Free, okay. and put I'd Rather Give You My Bitch. And read the lyrics to that, please. And uh, read them in the widest rather, voice you have. Rather give you my bitch. You. It's so bad. And don't that, don't read it first. I want you to read so it for the first time Google on this podcast. Don't even want to tell me. Look, read it for the first time on this. Sugar don't look. Free, at it. I'd rather give you my bitch. Yes. And don't read it. I want you to read it right now out loud. Don't look at it. Don't okay, look at it. All right, now do it. Now look at it. Hold on. And read good. it in the widest voice you have. What you gonna do? Do you want to get out? What you gonna do, baby? Do you want to get out? Tell me. What you gonna do? Do you want to get out? What you gonna do? Do you want to get out? I'd rather give you my bitch. Pay attention. I'd rather give you my bitch. I'd rather give you my bitch than let you breathe. On my last bit of endo smoke, I'd rather give you my bitch tonight. You want to hit my joint, but I'd rather let you fuck my bitch. <laughs> suck her. <laughs> suck her tits, and she'll suck your dick. And since one man's trash is another man's treasure, you gets no part of my weed, but you can have my bitch Heather. <laughs> Come on, keep going. Keep going. I'm not going to pay the... Oh, there it is. Like every other bitch I get, I'd rather give you my bitch, my whole bitch, and nothing but my bitch. Because anybody that can bleed for five days and don't die, plus develop an attitude, go to sleep, wake up, and look me dead in my eyes, ain't for me, playa. Oh, nah, maybe for you, sugarfied, that sleazewalking bitch I thought you knew who I'm true. I got to get mine. I want to get mine. I, I need gotta to get, get mine. mine. I'm wasting my time. Because players do what they want to, yeah. And suckers do what they can. You, you, can't, can't, gat, gat, me, me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I love being rich. <laughs> I want you, but I don't need you. It says need you. I know how he speaks. Let your mama tell you how to make a nigga please you. <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing that I'm 10 steps ahead of Lisa and the bull. So she's running against the grain. What? I'd rather give you my bitch than to let you breathe. 
on my, on my last, last bit of endo, endo smoke. smoke. I'd rather I'd give you my bitch than let you breathe, breathe again, again. Breathe, breathe again. I'd rather give you my, my bitch. bitch. What? Huh? Because you've been tricking. You be thinking with your dick and shit, bitch. I'd rather give you my <laughs> bitch tough tonight. Okay. How's Hi that? Hi-ho silver. Bitch, if you, if you look at me like that... Bitch, if you... Bitch, if you look at me like that again, oh, I'm subject to kill you. Because love ain't nothing but two people feeling sorry for each other. Then hitting divorce court to pay child support to your baby's mother. Here comes the sheriff knocking at my front door with a warrant for my arrest because I refuse to pay a hoe. Sheet. Ain't no pussy good enough for me to split have my shit. I wouldn't give a squirt of piss to save a broke bitch. <laughs> Let's end it on that. <laughs> I wouldn't what the give fuck a squirt are you of listening piss to, bro? To save a broke bitch. Him and the baby got a song together, don't they? No, sir. No, sir. Sugar free. I just wanted you to see what real rape sounded like in a song. Alan Jackson ain't got shit on sugar free, bro. It's still kind of rapey. It's rapey. He had to say, I'm not a stalker. I'm not a stalker. If you have to say you're not a stalker. Maybe Alan Jackson didn't write that song. Dude, do you know what's crazy to me is how many songs we know. Oh, dude, you've heard of Mus- Muscle Shoals? Uh-uh. Yeah, you have. No, sir. Muscle Shoals has got the Swampers. They can pick or play a song, too. That's in Sweet Home Alabama. You've sung those words. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, Muscle Shoals. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Muscle Shoals is a little itty-bitty town in Alabama. Okay, eight about eight thousand people, and they opened up a mu- music studio in the late sixties, and the the recording the the house band was called the Swampers, and Otis Redding, Aretha Franklin, um, fucking uh, Wilson Pickett, Skinner, Bob Seger, the Rolling Stones, like all these people have songs that these dudes. Helped him write. Really? Yeah. Okay. So this is a really cool story. They're sitting there. They're cutting these songs, right? And and uh, sometimes they would just do demos and send them to artists. Like, hey, you know, we we cut this this track and we felt like it it kind of suited you. It's my my phone. Mary Alice is home. My ring. I'm listening so, to you. I just want to check the baby. The baby. The check baby. Check the baby. Check the baby. I got an app to check the baby. Do you? you? Know what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know where it's at, though. So, tell me the story. So, there it is. Old Time Rock Ooh, and Roll, right? You know that song, right? Yeah. All right. Well, they they uh, they uh wrote it, they cut it, and they instantly said that whenever they were in the studio, two of the guys looked at each other and mouthed the, mouthed the words Bob Seger. Like, they just knew that was a song for him. And they're in the fucking, they're in the recording room trying to master it now. They've they've cut all of it. Now they're about to work on the overdubs. Because what's even crazier to You're me talking about, about the Swampers. Yeah, the Swampers. They're doing all this. And then this this kid shows up out of nowhere. And he goes, how you, how you get to be on a record? I want to be on a record. And... One of the Swampers said, normally he would tell him to get the fuck out of here. But something struck him and said, go get your guitar then. He runs out to the parking lot where his parents are in the car waiting with the car running. They're on vacation. He's from- and the kid just walks up in there. Yep. He grabs his guitar. Into the studio. Into and the he's studio. Like, he's like, how do you get on a record? Yep, yep. And, the, and normally, dude, normally he would, he would fucking... They would tell them to go on somewhere. Why do I feel like we're on a movie right now when you just said that? So, Bob Seger ain't even sung on it yet. It's just the music. Forget what Bob Seger says. It's, they've cut the music, maybe some, some, some preliminary vocals, but they want Bob Seger to sing it. He gets in the studio with his guitar, and they, they, they're planning on embarrassing this kid. Like, he probably can't play. Yeah, yeah.
Right. You hear that? Where is it, man? It's here. You hear the the lead fills? Like the guitar? Yeah. Guess who that is? That's that kid? That's that kid. No shit. That's that kid. And they they never gave him they didn't give him credit. They didn't give him credit until like thirty years later. But the kid moved to Alabama and never played on another record. Why not? I don't know. But his name's Howie McDonald. And here he goes. No, he's out. He's going to be after the sax. It's a guitar. Yeah. And it's just, it's incredible, though. Like yeah. this kid, like, could you imagine you're probably 16, 17 years old? And you and play they start and playing you, that, and, then, and the kid's like putting guitar in there with it. It comes on. Here you go. There he is, dude. Forever. He's on it forever. And we all know this song. Yeah. And could you imagine you're that kid? And this comes on the radio, and you hear your lick, knowing that's you. So they send this to Bob Seger, and it's got all the music. And Bob Seger's like, "Oh, these are the lyrics. We just want you to see it, sing it. Mm-hmm. That's it." And that's all Bob Seger had to go in the studio, sing the lyrics that went already with the song. That's all he had Pretty to much. fucking do. Wow, there's so many songs. That's one of his most famous songs. It was his first number one hit. Was it? Yeah. <clears throat> Here That's you go. Crazy. It's the outro guitar that I remember now. This too. Really? That's the kid? Yeah, that's the kid. And here's another. Here's Damn. another song that Bob Seger fucking bro uh, that he did not write. He didn't. And know. this is all those guys from Alabama. Yeah, dude. Fucking th- in this song, they talk about Muscle Shoals has got the Swampers. They can pick a song or two. He was paying homage to these guys because they're in Alabama. I never knew what Muscle Shoals was. No, Muscle Shoals is like a town in Alabama. Yeah, yeah. And the Swampers, they a bunch of black dudes or white dudes or white what? Guys. Are they? So um, Rod Stewart went to Muscle Shoals. Bob Seger didn't write this. That that guitar part? It's that same kid? No. Different kid. Different dude, but Bob Seger didn't write it. He, he might have wrote the words, I don't know, but he didn't write the fucking melody and shit. Damn. Rod Stewart went to record there. and Like in Muscle Shoals? Yeah, he went to Muscle Shoals to record. Like I said, man, anyone who was... like muscle? Anybody, like muscle? Yeah, muscles. Like muscles? Muscle Shoals. Like your muscles? My muscles. And then Shoals, like a show, S-H-O-A-L. Yeah. Muscle, Muscle Shoals. Shoals. It's a cool-ass name, right? That's a cool-ass name. So, Rod Stewart's in there, and he's in the control room or whatever, and he looks into the recording studio, and this these like four or five white guys tuning their instruments and shit, and Rod Stewart says, well, when's the band getting here? And they said, that is the band. And he seriously thought it was going to be black people. Yeah. Because of how much soul and rhythm they had. Yeah. And a lot of the guys in Muscle Shoals said that whenever they first started, they didn't really know what they were doing. They had no idea how to be in a band. Do and they have songs? Like, are they like an official band? What was that? Oh, my GoPro died. That's all right. Um,. Well, I think there's a collection of like best songs to ever be recorded at Muscle Shoals, but it's various artists. But um, it's these guys, the Swampers, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, writing R-E-S-P-E-C-T, show know what it means to me. Yeah, but are they writing that type of shit? Or is they're, it just that they're just a famous studio where people get inspired to fucking write awesome shit? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like something in that studio, like some energy, mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. Is it still exist? I don't know. I wonder if it still exists. I don't know. All them guys would be in their 70s by now. Well, I'm saying just the actual studio would Maybe, be like a historical. But it's probably like the energy was probably had something to do with that group of men. Think so? Oh, yeah. And the spot. Oh, yeah, the spot. way they clicked. And the spot, too, probably. I'm sure. I'm sure, but it probably has something to do with like those people. Because they said like Stevie Ray Vaughan in Double Trouble was called Double Trouble because it was two guys. 
It's a three-piece band up until 1986 or 87, and Reese Winan became their keyboardist. They didn't change the name to Triple Trouble or anything like that. It was still Steve Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. But they said the instant that Reese sat in with them in a session, they knew it. Like it was just like that energy. Like he, he was a perfect fit. And they instantly knew that he had to join the band. Like, and I think shit like that is real. I think yeah. that that's a thing where a group of people just click. It's almost like being on a team that can't lose. Hey. Yeah, it was terrible. Tim said it wasn't that bad, but he lying. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't It was like, fucking bad, dude. Carolina Reapers are worse. Me? It was bad. Your eyes are red. Yeah, I'm tarred. What I've been time up is since it? 5.30. We're about to wrap it. Yeah. Well, that thanks for smart. eating a uh, ghost pepper with I think me. I feel like the first 10 minutes was literally you saying, what were you saying? I, I said, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing too good. I said, I'm not, I'm doing, not doing well. I'm not, I'm not doing, doing well. I'm not doing well. My tummy hurts. Yeah, my tummy, it's, I mean, I can tell I ate it. That shit was funny. Like, bro. I can tell I ate it. I literally had the mullet and the glasses and the hat on, and they it came, came off, off in 10 seconds. Instantly. My eyes started pouring water. You should have put, like, cream cheese on it. That'd be, uh, I would have that'd be a bitch move. We ate it raw. There's a, there's a couple seasons. Here you go. You want you some? Want it? No, fuck no. <laughs> Don't blame you. I'd never recommend that. Anybody who's stuck with us past the first five minutes, we, we love you. All one of yous. All one of yous. Well, we lost video. I'm looking into the camera, but we lost our video. Both of them? Yeah, they're both off, right? Yeah, we lost our video. <laughs> but That big Back. camera only lasts 30 minutes. Why? I don't know, dude. I jailbroke that motherfucker too, boy. All right, Why well, thanks. GoPro did? Thanks for doing the, because uh, that thing that it's sitting in ain't charged. I was super prepared. I honestly didn't think we'd last more than 30 Does minutes. This, do, are you this unprepared for everyone just else? Just for you, dude. Just You're so not Because I important. literally came here one time and we didn't record because it fucked up. I will never forget that. So thank you for bringing it back up again. Yeah. That you're that guy. That's who it's you like are. like every fucking time. Dude, let it problem. go, dude. <laughs> let it go, bro. All right. <clears throat> we love you guys. Thank you guys for listening, I Tim. You're awesome. I love you, dude. Myself. Thanks for doing the podcast. Love you. Never I love back. you a lot. Ever. Thanks for doing never. it. I will see you again next yeah, time. Love back. you guys. That pepper was so bad. You want me to cut this thing off? Yeah.